I love a look of women wearing a headscarf while driving a cabriolet. It adds so much grace and elegance somehow. In today's video, you will see some interesting pictures relating to the history of how women earn their place behind the steering wheel. Also, I will explore three practical ways you can tie your scarf to look irresistibly chic and be ready for an open road. In 1886, Carl Benz applied for patent for his vehicle powered by a gas engine. Only two years later, his wife Bertha Benz became the first person to drive an automobile over a long distance, 66 miles. At the turn of the century, some of Britain's prominent society women began to feel that they need a club in which to share their interest in motoring, as the existing automobile clubs did not admit women. In 1920s, Luella Bates became the first woman truck driver to receive a driver license in New York. In the 30s, progressive women with the means and connections took to racing and railing cars on both sides of the Atlantic. The American automobile industry was not slow to tap into a market that was usually seen as a male preserve and tailored their marketing accordingly. Film stars who appeared in cabriolets on screen also had them as personal possessions. An interesting story. These are some shots from a British film from 1955 entitled Cast a Dark Shadow. The car that actress is about to get into is a Sunbeam Alpine 3, the same as Grace Kelly drove in Ducati. T. Interestingly, when Ducati T was in the planning, thought turned to the what type of car Grace Kelly character should drive. Hitchcock dismissed Jaguar, to masculine, anything American, to powerful and German. The war had only been over 10 years. The story goes that Hitchcock's wife, Alma, saw an advert in a magazine featuring the Alpine and showed it to her husband, who thought it is suitably feminine for the part of the delicate millionaires. By the way, if you don't know me yet, my name is Elena, welcome to my channel How to Tie a Scarf. And now, let's tie our scarves! In the first style, I'd like to draw your attention to the unusual shape and the fabric of the scarf. It is not very often that we see a rectangular scarf or a scarf from a lightweight, almost transparent fabric. However, this shape of the scarf creates a very interesting style, and the fabric is so light that it looks like a cloud when the car is moving. I have a silk rectangular scarf. The scarf from this fabric looks very romantic. Cover your head with the ends in words. Cross them and tie them behind. By the way, if you like scarves, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to get notifications. Or you can just tie them under your chin and let them fly but be aware of the length of your scarf. Do not repeat the sad story of Isadora Duncan. Et voilà! It looks fantastic! The second style is a classic for old movies with cabriolets. It is very common for the period of the 1960s and 70s. However, we almost don't see it in the modern movies. It 
Make a triangle from your square scarf. Tie it under the chin with a secure double knot. To prevent your scarf from slipping, you can fix it with some bobby pins on the sides. By the way, if you like vintage scarves, I will leave a few links to some lovely vintage scarves on Etsy. Another version that I see very often is to cross the ends and tie them behind. sunglasses it looks like a transitional version to the next style this style is the most popular for driving an open-top car and looks very chic it was very popular in the 1960s and the movies after the 1980s. I think this is the most common scarf style for modern films. By the way, I have another video on vintage scarf style tying and I will link it at the end and in the description. I cannot decide what picture I like the most. This style is one of my favorites for cooler weather. Fold your scarf in the form of a triangle, twist the ends inward to create beautiful folds on the sides. Cross them under the chin and tie them behind, like this. You can make it look a little loose, which I think don't really practical. or, like me, tight tight. Beautiful! I'd like to thank my dear friends for their help in preparation of this video. Thank you so much! If you want to know more on headscarf styles, you can watch these videos too for more scarf ideas. Subscribe, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section down below what kind of video tutorial you would like to see. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!